what is up guys uh, Jay here and I'm about to give you a little sneak peek uh, or a first look at the new and improved CCPV switch uh, so I'm gonna be doing most of the video in English for the benefit of you guys in France Malaysia and the US uh, because as far as I know there are a couple of hundred units on the way to your shores so watch out for it uh, yeah pretty much so um, to start off, I know there were a lot of issues uh, with the former Switch, with the first one that we released, and uh, Chris Creations has done its best to resolve those problems, just to make sure that you guys are satisfied, happy, and overall content with the product that we have released to you guys. Uh, value for your money, as said. Uh, for you guys that um, have been part of the first batch, whether you are a first-hand consumer or a second-hand consumer, it wouldn't matter. Uh, we would replace your switches free of charge um, with the serial numbers intact. So everything else will be uh, replaced perfectly as it is. Just a little bit more better, of course. So yeah, uh, I've been talking about it. And let me just enumerate some of the problems that we had with the first switch. Well, first of all, uh, one of the bigger issues was the resistance of the spring. Um, the first switch actually used a customized stainless steel spring, especially made for the CCPV. Uh, the thing about SS springs, though, is um, you do get the durability, but the problem is uh, there will be a lot of resistance for the first few days, perhaps. But eventually, it does get a lot softer. Um, but to solve the issues, we have replaced uh, the spring with a um, stainless steel spring also, but we made it much thinner, uh, much smaller, to uh, pretty much give you a more comfortable press on the button. Uh, the second issue that we addressed was the locking mechanism. Um, one of the main issues was that uh, the older switch was a little bit more fidgety, so um, it sometimes locks even if you don't want it to. If it moves to the side, it locks. Uh, if it moves to the other side, it locks. So while you're using it, uh, you could not really avoid all the fidgeting that goes around with it. So yeah, we tried our best uh, to find the appropriate solution for that. Um, another issue was the sharpness or the edges in the switch, which some of you guys were complaining were kind of rough or kind of sharp. Uh, well, we have resolved that problem as well. So, uh, to give you guys the first look at it, this is the new and improved CCPV switch. So, as you can see, uh, the design of the switch was improved um, a little bit, although the shape was maintained, but we have added a much larger surface area for all of you guys which have big fingers. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to press now. Uh, with regards to the resistance of the spring, uh, it is a whole lot softer. I would actually com even compare it to the Precise Plus from Super T, a great mod, uh, very easy to press, very easy to use. So I would, yeah, you know, I would be bold enough to say that this uh, switch would compare to that one in terms of the softness of the spring. So there you go. You can actually fire it with your pinky with no, almost no effort at all. With regards to the locking mechanism. Uh, we have made something very simple, uh, but at the same time very efficient when it comes to locking. So all you have to do is twirl around right here. If you move it counterclockwise, it is recessed, making it almost impossible, uh, well pretty much impossible to fire. You could put it on your table, put it on your desk, or whatever you want. Uh, it would not fire. No matter how hard you press it, it is not going to make contact with your battery. Um, if you do want to use it, all you have to do is move it counterclockwise, I'm sorry, clockwise rather, just a little bit. You can see it pops out. There you go. So from this angle, it would already fire, but it would all depend on the adjustment that you would make on it. Uh, I like usually like it quite deep, uh, deep pressed before it fires, so I set it somewhere here. It is still very soft, uh, and there have been no misfires for me. I've been using it for the past couple of days. Uh, there have been absolutely no misfires, regardless of which side you press, whether you go for this side, 
this side in the center, even to the edges, it would still fire uh, because the surface area is a lot better compared to the first switch. Um, still has pretty much the same concept. You can still adjust the height of the switch um, for uh, different sizes of 18650 batteries. So the AWIMRs are a bit shorter compared to those protected trust fire or the ITR batteries. Um, same concept, you can still adjust them from top to bottom. Um, the top cap and the bottom cap is also still reversible uh, depending on which side you want the grooves to be on. So I would rather have it here because I usually fire it with my pinky. So for an added grip, uh, I usually hold it there and fire here. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, for uh, Another thing actually about the new switch is that because of the whole surface area thing, uh, there is much better contact on the battery. So that better contact usually equals to uh, better power. So if you guys were already impressed with the first switch, I'm pretty sure this will blow your mind. So uh, to prove my point, let me just give you a little short drag on this one. Pretty good. Uh, let me just top this off with a little bit more e-juice before I go for the longer drags. Oh yeah, much thanks as well to uh, Mr. Ryan Eigenman for this tremendous tasting Black Forest juice. Thank you, sir. So let's move on to the long drags and show you how these, uh, this little monster vapes. There you go. Um, that is the new and improved CCPV switch. As mentioned earlier, the first 60 that were released will be replaced free of charge, and all the succeeding units that will be sold will come with a new switch. Same thing with the serial numbers. Everything will be replaced as is. Much improved. Um, as I said in our forums the last time ago, um, that is the biggest benefit of owning a locally made mod. For all you Filipinos out there, do not fret. If there are any complaints, we will resolve the issue. Uh, Chris Creations always works for continuous improvement. Um, we do not claim perfection, but we will try our best always to keep you guys satisfied. Uh, I would like to thank you guys as well for the support. Um, thank you to Sir Prince, aka The Great from PBF, uh, for the harsh critique. Uh, you have inspired us, sir, to continuously make our products better, and hopefully, uh, all you guys there overseas will also appreciate the product, and uh, we hope to see you guys soon, uh, probably perhaps for a worldwide vape meet or something of that sort. Uh, thank you guys for your time, thank you for your support, we do appreciate it. Uh, we will continue to make things better for you guys as we aim closer to perfection as we can. Thank you.